From Colorado's high definition news leader, this is Nine News. Hello, I'm Ron Knellenbauer. The Nuggets hosted the hottest team in the NBA last night, the San Antonio Spurs. We fast forward to the final eight seconds. Spurs up by four. Carmelo Anthony gets past the San Antonio defense and brings it home with the dunk. Nugs only down by two. On the Spurs inbound pass, J.R. Smith deflects a ball, lands into the hands of Anthony, who lays it in to give Denver the lead. But San Antonio wouldn't go away. Manu Ginobili gets the ball and from a tough angle, throws it off the backboard and in. Spurs back on top. One last chance for the Nuggets and Carmelo Anthony through the paint, lays it in as time runs out. Nuggets win! But wait, Melo gets called for a charge on Ginobili's basket. It does not count. The Spurs hold on for the 113-112 victory. Anthony finishes with a game-high 31 points, but it was the two that he didn't get in the end. That was a story after the game. I mean, it's a play that I think goes either way a lot. But we seem like referees like to, you know, they like to hit us with the tough call. It's a tough call. Good play, good basketball. Mel made a great play. You know, it's close. I've seen it called both ways. And, you know, just... Melo, can you ever recall a call like that this late in the game? No, never, never. But there's nothing we can do about it now. It was over with. They made the call. Get ready for Minnesota. Do you think if that was in the second quarter, though, that might have been a, a charge? But because, but you're thinking because it's such an important play in a game that it should be a, a blocking foul. I mean, I, maybe I'm biased, but I thought it was a good play. Um, you know, maybe Ginobili was he the one who took the charge? Maybe he came over and made a great defensive play. Um, I don't know. I, I just was in the right position because I. I was the bottom weak side, and it's my job to, to be there and try to draw a charge. Uh, when he jumped, I knew I was going to get it because I, I was right outside the circle. Well, you don't see that made at this time of the game ever. Never have seen that at this time of the game. I've been around the league for 28 years. You know, I was talking to Scott Hastings, he said in 28 years he hadn't seen a call at the end of a game like that. I probably agree with Scott. Will that charge by Melo be his last play as a Nugget? It looked as if Anthony was going to be traded to New Jersey, but he wants to go across the river to play in New York City for the Knicks. Carmelo says he will only sign his $65 million offered contract extension for the Nuggets if it includes him being traded to New York. But Denver would get a better deal trading him to New Jersey as they've been offered Derek Favors, Troy Murphy, and two number one picks by the Nets. Trade talks with Melo have stalled, but it looks like his time in the Nuggets jersey is coming to a close. The hottest player for the Avalanche isn't Paul Stasny or Craig Anderson, but Tomas Fleischmann. Who? Since being traded from Washington on November 30th, the six-year veteran from the Czech Republic has enjoyed his new surroundings, scoring five goals and five assists in seven games for the Avs, and he scored his first career hat-trick last time out against the Blackhawks. Fleischmann looks to continue his hot play tonight as the Avs host the Ottawa Senators at the Pepsi Center. Puck drops at 7 o'clock. Will the Broncos start Tim Tebow Sunday against the Raiders? That is a question on just about everyone's mind. It looks like Kyle Orton will miss this weekend's game with bruised ribs, leaving the quarterback spot up to either Brady Quinn or Tim Tebow. Tebow has taken most of the reps in practice this week, which usually means he'll start behind center, but Quinn has the experience after playing three years in Cleveland. We'll likely not know who will start for Denver until Sunday morning, as Orton is a game-time decision, but if Tebow's name is called, he says he'll be ready. Well, that's why we practice. He's gotten those reps, so if it came to that situation, we have great confidence that he's going to be able to run the offense. If you got to get the start, you're ready to go. I mean, you feel good about that? Um, yeah, I feel if, if you have an opportunity to go out there and play, I, you know, hopefully I'll be able to contribute and help, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm Ron Knobenbauer. Good night.